massive movement happening right in front uh, of CP Joshi's residence, uh, the speaker's residence. Some of the MLAs have come out, viewers. Uh, we're going to try and get in a word, but let's uh, quickly uh, break the news that we've been tracking very closely, and that is the Congress is moving into damage control mode. Uh, KC Venu Gopal has spoken to Malik Arjun Kharge, who's one of the observers. Uh, Kharge and uh, Ajay Makan also uh, in talks with KC Venu Gopal. The message from Congress leadership is that Kharge and Makan should speak to each of the MLA, something which we've been uh, telling our viewers about. Uh, I'd just like to quote the message that has come in. Chahe sari raat betna pade lekin aaj raat ko hi mamla suljhaya jayega. Aur ek line ki jo bhi resolution pass karna hai wo karo. Well, not very good for those of us who are covering this but it seems to be an all nighter. But Rajdeep, I want to pull you in all this once again as this chaos continues to unfold in Jaipur. The fact is this is more than such in pilot this is also i would reckon at a level deeply humiliating for the gandhis the gandhis would be caught uh, in a bit of a quagmire if they actually succumb to the pressure which has been mounted by gaylord then there is a public acceptance by the gandhis that uh, the writ of the gandhis didn't quite work it's public bowing down to pressure more so if uh, gaylord comes into delhi as president look you know, there are now, you're absolutely right. I mean, what this is showing is a completely weakened political uh, authority of the Gandhi family. But it also shows, I repeat, the lack of political management. I mean, look at this bizarre statement that we have to, even if we have to sit all through the night, we will pass one line resolution. I mean, you know, you're not appearing for some final exam for which you desperately need to get a pass mark tomorrow morning. You first get your groundwork done. You look like a pack of uh, panicky, headless chickens running around. I mean, that's the impression the world will get. The BJP will laugh its way into 2023 Rajasthan and 2024 India at this level, as will many of the regional parties. You know, here is the Congress claiming we've got this grand Bharat Jodo Yatra going on. Rahul Gandhi says, you know, what matters to me are, by, are certain ideological principles, ideas, all very well. But you need an organization. You are in politics. And in politics, you need political managers. The question will be, where are those political managers? Who has, does Ajay Makan have the authority to tell Ashok Gelon to back off? No. Does Malikar Jun Kharge have the authority to tell uh, uh, Ashok Gelon to back off? No. Can uh, Rahul Gandhi pick up the phone or Sonia Gandhi pick up the phone today and tell Ashok Gelon what's going on? The truth is, Ashok Gelot will turn around and say, you know, ma'am or uh, Rahul Gandhi ji, I am more than happy uh, to come as Congress president, but you can't, uh, in, in, you know, you can't make me lose the base I have cultivated for the last 30 years in Rajasthan by giving it to someone who I see as my rival. And the Gandhis can do very little about it beyond then saying, okay, you continue to stay on in Rajasthan, we'll find someone else, maybe who will be, a, uh, who wants to be Congress president. I mean, you know, you've got really, frankly, this is a scripted disaster. And, you know, we can talk till the, you know, all through the night. But the end, end, the end result is this is a party whose left hand doesn't know it's right. In Goa, you chose someone who had come from the BJP as your leader of the opposition in Mr. Lobo. And guess what? Mr. Lobo has left for the BJP and has the person who was your former chief minister and earlier leader of the opposition. What happened in Punjab? You removed Amrinder Singh six months before an election, replaced him with Charanjit Singh Channi, who uh, lost both his seats and is at the moment out of the country. I mean, you can look at uh, what happened in Madhya Pradesh. Digvijay Singh and Kamal Nath were seen to have created a situation where Jyoti Raditya Sindhya felt there was no space for him. He leaves and brings down your government in Madhya Pradesh. I mean, there are state after state, Preeti, if it was one state where this was happening, you could argue that, you know, one swallow doesn't make a summer. But the truth at the moment is the Congress has been swallowed up in state after state with no real political managers left. What is the situation in Rajasthan needs a political manager. And a few like Gulam Nabi Azad, who all said and done, may not be a mass leader but was an efficient political manager, he's also gone. So what are you left with? I mean, Rajasthan, to my mind, what's happened in the last 
few hours is symbolic of the utter disarray the Congress finds itself in. It is embarrassing to see the grand old party in the shape that it is at the moment. Well, egg on its face, all right. Uh, uh, you know, I was, there's, again, because there's so much speculation, so many rumors about, and I want to pull in Supriya uh, for more, because uh, Supriya right now is joining me from Kerala, where the Congress, uh, virtually Supriya, marching to its own tune with Bharat Jodo, uh, with, you know, the chaos which is taking place right now uh, in Jaipur. But uh, I also want to pull in Dev Ankur, because there's news that seems to be coming in, unconfirmed, Supriya. Have you picked up from your sources in Delhi, or rather the Rahul Gandhi camp in Kerala? Has Ashok Gehloth and Sachin Pilot both been called to Delhi tomorrow? Because that's a rumor that is circulating here, of course, unconfirmed. What are you picking up? Well, first and foremost, Preeti, uh, what was supposed to come was somewhere the hint was given by Ashok Gilot when he spoke to us the other day and confirmed that he will be filing his nomination. But he had also added uh, that as far as the chief ministership of Rajasthan is concerned, that uh, thing has to be seen, what the MLAs decide and wh how uh, the Congress uh, uh, High Command is going to decide who will be the next candidate. And he had categorically said to us when we spoke to him, uh, saying that uh, uh, he will uh, see as to how the MLAs are going to uh, play the role in coming days, especially when their uh, opinion will be sought as far as picking the next Congress president is concerned. Now what has happened has, uh, the entire uh, sentiments which are going on in Rajasthan has a, a fallout in Kerala also. Just now when this news was breaking, Rahul Gandhi was addressing a big meeting in Trishur and there he was going all out attacking the government on the issue of Uttarakhand at the same of, uh, same time unemployment also and then later on we saw as to how uh, we came this information that Venu Gopal has uh, spoken uh, to Malika Arjun Khargeji at the same time also there are news that Venu Gopal has also spoken to Ashok Gehloth the Chief Minister of Rajasthan there are two more information that we are picking up from the sources reliable sources the, uh, Sachin Pilot at the moment is present at the residence of Ashok Gehloth who is the Chief Minister of Rajasthan and at the same time also Raghu Sharma is also present and but right now the meeting is going on between uh, uh, Ashok Gehloth, Malika Arjun Kharge and Ajay Makam. So there is one message which has gone uh, from the Kerala and there is one message which has come from Delhi to Rajasthan. From the Kerala, Venu Gopal has spoken to observers and categorically stated that they should, if they have to sit for the entire night, they should reach out to the MLAs, talk to them. 